Aw, oh, man, I can't go any lower. Oh, I can't go any higher. Oh, well, what can you do? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Bone Zone. So I just picked this up on Amazon. They're getting hard to come by. This one uh, seems like the box has seen better days and for sure it has definitely been opened before, I'm sure. I mean, it looks all pretty fresh on the inside. Look at that. We're gonna see if we can get it to work with a trombone. Maybe try some other stuff out too, but most importantly, trombone. I really hope this works. I seriously don't know if it's gonna work. So here we go. I'll see you back when I have this thing set up. Power supply? Man, this thing must be old. Ooh, feels really sturdy. All right, that should be good in theory. All right, let's give this a go. Fingers crossed, please work. I've been looking for an octave pedal for a long time that it's gonna work. So here's dry. Now, let's figure out how this works. Boy, classic, I guess. I don't hear anything happening. Oh, it's not on. Uh, I think it works. This makes me very excited because I at first I just wanted an octave down pedal and then I discovered the whammy and people seem to like it a lot. It has an octave up and an octave down. Yeah. It's tracking really nicely. Very little latency, which is another thing I was looking for. Latency is like when there's a delay. Some octave pedals I've used in the past have too much delay, and it really interrupts your playing, especially when you're playing fast. But this has very little latency. All right, we're going down. Now, I can't really tell because I'm amplified right now. I don't know if you can hear the dry or not. There's not really a setting like that on here. So I'm wondering if like, boy, I have no idea. 
I don't know if there's a dry and a wet. I think I want to say harmony because I don't think it's a polyphonic. Uh, like, I don't think it generates a polyphonic pitch. I don't think it generates a pitch. It doesn't sound like it is. It sounds like it's literally taking the audio. It sounds like it's just warping the audio down an octave. Some pedals will generate a pitch, and it does not work well on trombone. I've tried a couple of them. It doesn't work well. This one seems to work very well. I'm thinking that harmony is going to be a wet an a wet and dry signal meaning you'll be able to hear the trombone and the altered pitch and then maybe whammy is just the pitch i think maybe or maybe that's classic with chords maybe classic is i don't know i don't know what you're hearing i'll have to find out in editing anyways let's keep playing with this thing Man, that actually, when you go up the octave, it kind of sounds like a trumpet. So this is kind of like a trumpet sim... Oh, it's like a trumpet and tuba simulator. Nice. Oh, you know what? Let's get some reverb. Man, it sounds like a trumpet. Like when you go up the octave, it totally, it's like a trumpet simulator. So this is like a, can be a, like a trumpet simulator. That's pretty cool. And it sounds good. It doesn't sound weird or wobbly. It sounds nice. I bet I can try, I bet I can do a tuba simulator too. Let's see. Kind of hard to tune, uh, but I'm also on two octave mode. Oh man, I'm so impressed with this thing so far. I haven't had any problems with warbliness. It's a good volume. It changes the pitch when I change the pitch. Uh, man, whammy, uh, Digitech, right? Digitech, you're killing it. I'm only on the first setting. I'm going to screw around with it a little more. Let me get some uh, effects in here. Uh, one thing I wanted to try is like a chorus bass. Yes. Thank you. 
So it seems there'll be a little more delay for the octave down, but still the best I've seen so far, for sure. Let's try a trumpet with lots of uh, effects. There's something a trumpet can't do. I found it, ladies and gentlemen. I have found... <laughs> Ooh, I have an idea. Let's do baritone to tuba conversion. All right, baritone to tuba conversion. Also baritone to trumpet conversion. Why not? That's how much latency there is. to be ahead of the beat just a little bit. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. I'm probably going to use that setting mostly. Let's check out some other settings. Whoa, that is... Mm. Oh, I've, oh, I've wanted to loop something like that for so long. I've tried not a ton of pedals, but I've tried enough to know that this is the best one so far, and I don't feel that I need anything else. Um, so, okay, so there's a couple of different settings. So harmony, I still can't really tell if you guys, wait, oh, 
I should have listened to the loop. I still, I still can't tell if you guys can hear the dry signal or not. Um, chords is probably dry as well. That's what it is. So if you do a chord, that's polyphonic. If you do classic, that's uh, monophonic, which means single note. Well, let's do chords, because I mean, you know, because I'm gonna do some chords. So down a fifth, down a fourth. All right, I see how this is set up. One is up and one is down. So up is fifth, down is fourth. All right, got it. Let's go up a fifth. So you should be able to hear me now. Let me double check. Okay, now I can hear it. I just couldn't hear it earlier, um, but I turned up my volume, so. Okay, I thought it was going crazy earlier and that I couldn't hear myself because I was playing at the same time, but now I can, I can clearly hear it. I can clearly hear a chord coming out of there. Okay, um, let's do it. That's messing with my head like my lips wanted to go to the note, but I have to use my this is a whole new set of muscle memory It's not that bad, but like I went up to the seventh and my lips tried to go there, too So I got to figure that out This is gonna be useful. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, my stuff still recording? Good. That was blues and whammy. All right, boys and girls, I think you all get the picture how cool this pedal is. Um, God, I mean, I just feel like I could keep going forever, probably. There's also these, all right, let's check out shallow, and I think detune and shallow is like probably like a chorus. <laughs>
Yeah, definitely like some kind of chorus effect. All right, uh, let's figure out what, so whammy, oh. So maybe that gives you, that probably gives you more control because on the other side, uh, you're, you're looking at like basically an octave up, an octave down, which is two octaves. So that's a long way to go on the pedal. Some of them are like fifth and seventh. And on the other side, it's just one octave. So I bet bottom is normal. And then you go up all the way and that takes you to whatever setting you're on. So here's one octave. Ooh, there's two octaves? Holy cow. That was funny, but that's what most reviews do on octave things, and oh, it irritates me. I can't tell you how many videos are out there reviewing an octave thing, and they're just like, I'm going to kill, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> it is funny, but you know, these things have more use. Let's go. That's actually a pretty cool just sign, like, sound. That's like a synth sign sound. Uh, I think I'm on chords right now. If I go to classic, that's just a cool sign. Pretty funny sounds. Uh, yeah, that's just a cool sine wave sound. Let's go to... Um, I'm going to stay on this because I think it gives you an idea of the actual uh, tonality of this thing, which is nice. Some octave things can be a really bad tone, but this sounds nice. Like That's, that's just a clean, nice sine wave that kind of barely sounds trombone-y. I like it, I like it a lot. Let's go to like a, a fifth. I guess theoretically you could transpose, but a trombone, you wouldn't want to do that. Uh, so on like the harmonizing things, I'll do, I'll do chords. <laughs> Tell me that's not a boat horn. <laughs> One of those big old freight boats. Oh, man.
awesome. It doesn't crap out in the low end. So this has got to be some kind of... It must just be straight up taking the audio signal and then just... And, and keeping it... Keeping the tonality and everything and just... And just um, I don't know. Stretching the time times two or something. Like, it just works so well. Totally sounds like a tuba. Cool. Like it's picking up when I play louder and it's transferring into the signal, which is really nice. So when I get that like intense, like really. Like when I get that really intense, like when you really dig in, it picks it up. Which that makes sense why guitar players like this pedal so much because it's picking all of that up. All right, let's do, there's two left. Two octave and dive bomb, and then I'll just like play a song or something. Let's do dive bomb. Let's see what that does. Is that three octaves down? I can't even hardly tell. Yeah, that's three octaves down. Holy crap. Oh man, the real reason I got this pedal was for the octaver, and it's cool because I can, uh, the trombone in there, which I may or may not do most of the time, and I can get rid of it. This is it. Look, if you're a brass instrumentalist and you're into pedals or whatever, um, I wish someone made a video like this before because I've been looking for a long time to find something that works. I have a buddy that I think said he uses a whammy, but I never heard him use it. It works so well. It's a little expensive of a pedal, but, you know, not too bad. But this is going to be my pedal of choice. This is my fav probably the favorite pedal I've ever, I've ever had. I've got some awesome pedals that work with trombone. Uh, maybe in the future I'll make a video about that. Pedals that work well with trombone, because not all pedals do. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to play a song, and that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making this video. This is a this is an awesome project. That's this is why people um, this is why guitar players like it so much. I I can see I can hear exactly why people would prefer this pedal on guitar, and it just so happens to work really well on trombone. Probably if you're a vocalist or whatever too. But uh, yeah, totally, totally works. Um, all right, everybody, I will play a song out. I'll see you all again in the bone zone. Mm -hmm.